What percent body fat? I was 0.33. He meant 3.3%, right? That's less than half a percent. 0.33. How does yeah. a human get that low? Okay, we got to talk about this. Welcome back, everyone, to your number one source for everything related to sports injuries and sports medicine news. So I'm listening to the latest Joe Rogan podcast with bodybuilder Ronnie Coleman when he drops this little nugget that he supposedly had a low body fat of 0.33%. Three three percent. Now, at first, yes, even Rogan was like, "Surely you mean three point three percent?" But he said, "No, less than a half, 033 three percent." And we've got to take a second here and take a look at just how absurdly impossible this number is for just normal human health and being alive. As always, if you enjoy learning about this unique side of sports, then please consider subscribing and follow my Twitter page for more real-time, up-to-date injury analysis of your favorite sports and athletes. Let's get started. It doesn't take a doctor to hear this number and right off the bat understand how absurdly impossible something like this is, but I wanna dive into just exactly why a body fat percent this low is not compatible with life. We can divide the fat in our body into two general categories. We have essential fat and storage fat. The storage fat is what we all classically think about is that yellow, nasty looking stuff that builds up in our abdomen when we don't work out and we eat poorly. But the essential fat is just that. It's fat that's in our body and is essential to how we function and keeping us alive. We have fat in all kinds of places, deep inside our body and within our cells that we can't readily appreciate just by looking at someone. Our brain tissue has a lot of fat. We have fat that lines and supports our nerves. There's fat that provides cushion and support to our organs, including our heart, our kidney, our spleen, our intestines, there's all kinds of fat, even down to a cellular level, that's important for just normal life to help produce vitamins and hormones to just function and stay alive. So if you go all the way to the extreme and say 0%, it is impossible to have 0% body fat. Now a machine could make a measurement and say that you have 0% because it couldn't detect any body fat but you can't physically have zero fat in your body and be alive. The American Council on Exercise gives a reference of two to 5% as the essential fat range for a male. So it's more believable when Coleman said that he would live around 3% body fat. This is something that I could see and I could believe, but dropping down to 0.33% just isn't humanly possible and compatible with being alive. I know there's an old story about a bodybuilder who supposedly had 0% body fat based on an autopsy, but as far as I can see, that's just a bunch of legend. And unless he had some genetic condition, I have a hard time accepting that that's actually true. What I'm sure happened here with Coleman is that whatever device or method he was using to actually measure his body fat just had a big error and wasn't able to actually capture the true amount of fat that was within his body. Now, if you consider just surface fat, so to speak, the fat that's underneath the skin that you can see when you look at someone, then sure, I believe that it's possible for him to get this number extremely low, but body fat percentage is supposed to be capturing just that, all of the fat in your body, the essential fat and this storage fat. And so to be this low is just not possible. It's not compatible with being alive and has to be the result of just the machine giving a false measurement that nobody really thought through and caught in the moment. It's not healthy to have body fats this low. Certainly being down in the single digits is fine for elite level athletes and people who are closely monitoring their health. But if you're considering trying to work down to a really low body fat below this 5% level, you should definitely make sure you're talking with your doctor, talking with a nutritionist, making sure you're still getting all those essential vitamins and nutrients you need and aren't running the risk of getting dangerously close to these super low levels that will make you sick and can be fatal and kill you. Last year, I made a video about wide receiver DK Metcalf supposedly having a body fat of 1.6%. And at the time, I talked more about the method of the test and kind of how they did it rather than truly focusing on just how implausible a number like that was. It's certainly more believable to be around 1.6 or 2% than down at 0.33%. But still, both of these numbers, when you see anything less than 2%, should immediately trigger you to say, mm, that doesn't seem compatible with life. We have this essential body fat that's required to function and keep us alive. There had to have just been some error with the measurement. I don't think Coleman knows any better. I don't think he's trying to like deceive people or intentionally lie about what his body fat is because people in the medical and exercise field understand how impossible this is. So I think it was just whatever they used to test, couldn't capture all that essential body fat within his body and 
his true body fat was probably more close to this 3% range that he was walking around with outside of competition. So again, to recap, think of fat as essential fat that's required to support our organs for nutrient, vitamin, and hormone synthesis, and even providing protection around our nerves. There's fat in our brain, and we need fat for just our natural cell metabolism. You can't have zero fat in your body or you would be dead. And two to 5% is the typical range that we hear about for this essential level of body fat to stay healthy. That's it for the video, everybody. Thank you as always for watching. Let me know any questions or comments below. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.